morning and welcome to the Community Church of Sandwich. Isn't it so nice that it's not humid? It's a, such a gorgeous morning. This morning, we are going to deprive ourselves of our screen with Pastor Deb not here. The, there, it, there are no, in fact, even the announcements are not on the screen. So we have our bulletin and I'm going to ask for people to read announcements, even if they're in the bulletin, for the sake of our online viewers especially. And I'll also add a couple things through the rest of the service in order to make that go more smoothly. But you know what? We get addicted to things like the screen, don't we? <laughs> So we're going screenless and lower tech today. Tony, you have an announcement. I have an announcement. I'll come up front. Please do. And uh, I mentioned last week that we have the uh, posters for our awareness festival. It's going to be happening on September 18 at the Sandwich Fairgrounds, small and large. These are still downstairs. If you'd like to come and take one post somewhere around town, please go down and take one, sign off where you're putting it, and that'd be great, okay? But also this week, uh, one of our members, Nancy Reed, went to the store and picked up our roadside signs that we have. We have 20 of these to put around town in the Moldboro area, so if you are on a street or if you know of an intersection where a lot of people stop to do things, and it's safe to place one, please take one and place it. Um, we are within all of the rules of the planning board in Sandwich for placing these now. We're within the 45 day window of the event and it's temporary and not lit and so forth. So they're legal signs that we put up now in Sandwich. Uh, if you're on a busy street or if you're at a busy intersection, please take one, step on this, it goes in the ground. And then the one you place, please remove it after the festival. That's one of the rules too. So these announcements, there's 20 of these. So if you could place one, that'd be great. And that announcement goes to our online viewers as well. Okay, anybody have any questions about the awareness festival? Just quick, quick. If not, you. No, but thank you. I mentioned it to a meeting I had this week and several people wanted a copy of, not, not printed, but just an email. So I had Joey's email me the poster and that would be something too to email around right. to your friends and family to invite them to this. Tony if you want if you want to leave that one there I will remember to pick it up and put it on the lawn in front of the church and open it. Perfect perfect placement and I already saw several on the way in here in Sandwich. Yes. So yes. that's great. The news is getting out. Thank you. Thank you. Jackie, you have an announcement. Okay. Same one you made last week. Oh. <laughs> All right. The Ladies' Day is going to be having the annual, they used to be called the Salad Extravaganza, again this year, September 10th at noon, up at my house. Everyone is welcome, gentlemen. We'll leave a lip bump on them if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's from noon on, and we ask that you bring, um, like a salad or something to share. And then Jennifer and I will supply the dessert and the dressing. Great, thank you very much. Friday, that's a Friday because we had some conflicts with the Thursdays, so it's on Friday, September 10th. Peter. Yeah, the Fleischman family asked me to announce uh, next Saturday is Jeff Fleischman's memorial service at three. It was scheduled to be held here, but they've decided to hold it at the fairgrounds, either in the pavilion or the craft building depending on the weather. And they're concerned about COVID and uh, they are gonna request that people have a mask. So, so that's and what time? Saturday. And that's the 3 p.m. that it's still, it was in the bulletin? Time, right. The time is the same, but it's now at the fairgrounds. Exactly. Okay. Peter, I think they're providing their own piano. Is that what I understand? I talked to Mary, we don't have to do hours. Yeah, I, they didn't mention anything about okay. a piano, so. I, that's what she said on the phone. I just oh, okay. Sure we, do, we don't have to provide one. Okay, that's, that's good. good. Okay. Thank you. Lois. Unfortunately, it's at the, uh, on the same day as Jeff's, but next Saturday at 11, we are having a memorial 
service for my son Brad over at the First Congregational Church in San Rosipi. And anybody that knew Brad growing up or um, anything would be welcome, more than welcome. All right, so the United, uh, I'm sorry, First the First Congregational Church in Center Ossipi at 11 a.m. next Saturday will be honoring Brad. Um, Brad Merrick, who I assume the same name. And speaking of Lois, today is August 15th, and I see an August 16th date in here yes. that says that it's Lois's birthday tomorrow. So I think we should all sing Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lois. Happy birthday to you. Very good. Thank you. We won't ask you, Helen. <laughs> Unless you want to volunteer. <laughs> All right, let's see if we. Oh, and Pastor Deb is in here, but we wanted to make sure that you notice to RSVP to Pastor Deb on her email address about the church picnic, which is Saturday, August 28th at their house in Tilton, from, starting at noon also. And that is a potluck. And bring your own beverage and your lawn chair. So basically think about bring your own whatever. Bring your own everything. Yes, ma'am. And after the picnic, the 28th, the 29th is Sunday, and we're still looking for volunteers wide open for that day, uh, although Karen and J uh, Jane will be doing uh, fellowship, so we'll look at some ushers and liturgists for the end of August, beginning of September. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any other announcements for today? Then let us greet each other in our ministry of Christian greeting. Praise the Lord. Thank you. 
in them. Full of honor and majesty are the works of the Lord, whose righteousness endures forever. Who has caused his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord provides food for the faithful and is ever mindful of his covenant. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Please join me in our opening hymn of praise which is number 333. We're going to sing verses 1, 2, and 4. It looks a little confusing because the other verse numbers are at the bottom, but they're basically, one is sing. I'm going to sing when the Spirit says sing. The second is pray, and the third is shout. <laughs> Thanksgiving in our hearts, O oh God. 